folks, welcome to our channel. Today we're making applesauce. I've already pre-washed my apples and now I'm going to get them cut and into a citric acid bath. Since I'm going to be using a food meal, I do not need to core or I mean uh, peel these. They'll just, the food meal will take care of the skins for me. So I'll go ahead and just get started on cutting and putting these into a citric acid bath. You just want to take out the cores and cut them up into smaller sections so that once they're ready for the food mill, they're easy to chop. If you do not have a food mill, you can put these in a processor. You'll just need to peel the skins first. Now that I've gotten all the apples cut and in a citric acid bath, it's time to put them in a pot to boil until tender. You need to transfer them to a, a pot with just enough water to cover the apples to keep from sticking. And then uh, boil them for 5 to 20 minutes or just until tender. It depends on what kind of apples you have. In the meantime, I do have my jars processing. I'm getting them sterilized in a water bath of boiling water for a minimum of 10 minutes for anybody that's a beginner canner. Just get these added to the water. For my apples, it took 15 minutes to boil them down until they were tender. Then you need to remove them from the water that you were cooking them in and let them cool for about five minutes, which we have done. We've just skipped you the drama of watching that. Now, in working in small batches, you want to add them to your food mill and process them down. Now, I did forget to mention that I am using Golden Delicious apples. You can use whatever apples that you like for whatever your taste is. Uh, the recipe does call for 12 pounds of apples. We are only using three, and it also calls for sugar and lemon juice. We are not adding sugar because we like ours without, but you cannot omit the lemon juice. That is a necessity for water bath canning because apples vary so much on their pH level. They're not acidic enough without the lemon juice. So do not skip on that one. For hours, we'll be using at least one tablespoon of lemon juice, but that's after we get these all pureed down, then we'll boil this down with the lemon juice and sugar if you're adding it. So I'll just get started on the food meal. You just want to keep processing these down until you get it a nice applesauce consistency coming through the bottom. I take and move it back down the sides. Now that we have the apple puree boiled for a few minutes, it just says to leave it on low while you're filling up your hot jars, which I am doing right now. As you can see, I've already filled some of my jars. We're choosing to use the quarter pints because I like the smaller servings. Uh, and making sure to leave a half an inch headspace for each one. So I'll just continue filling these up.
you get used to your headspace after a while of how much where you need to leave it. And that one is way too much. Then once we get these filled, we'll put our lids and bands on, which I have simmering in hot water over here. Apples did just enough for 12 half pint jars. All right, we'll take some of this one out. Before you put your lids and bands on, you want to go around and debubble them just like everything. I give them a little shake just to settle it back down. Once you've debubbled, you can adjust your headspace if you need to add more or take out. So like that one is really low, so I'll go ahead and take from one of these other jars. All right, once you get that all done, You want to wipe your rims, which I already have a paper towel here with vinegar, and clean off any residue off your rims. This is a good chance to also inspect your jars, make sure you have no cracks in the rims, otherwise they will not seal. I'm just going to put our lids on now. Then add your bands, making sure that they are only finger tight. Do not over tighten because this can affect your end product. Then we'll stick these in the water bath scanner for a 20 minutes. And then let them rest for five before pulling them out.
this down in, making sure that you have at least one inch of water covering their, the tops. Then once this comes to a boil, then you can start your timer, but not before. All right, these have been boiling now in hot water for 25 minutes for our altitude. Then I let them cool for five minutes. Now we're just taking them out and letting them cool the jars on the counter for 24 hours. And this is what our end product looks like. around the counter they'll start cooling and then we can start hearing them seal as they pop. And they're already starting to seal. That's our applesauce.